Samizi's unscripted TV drama Living the Dream with Samizi is set to debut on 4 May and deciding by the trailer, it will be much greater and more emotional. One thing fans are on the whole anticipating is Samizi Mlongo talking about his separation from alienated spouse Mohail Matong. Each and every viewpoint about their separation will be examined including the supposed attack, division of Samizi's resources and some more. In the new season his whole family including his little girl Bahumi Mlongo and child mother Polisa Medisakwane will be highlighted. Others in the unscripted TV drama incorporate Samizi's companions Lorsha Cooper, Vusi Nova and Sean Kais. Lorsha is curious as to whether Samizi hit Mohail or not, and Mamkais hammers Mohail for needing half of his resources. Best except, nothing will be beyond reach and Showmax Candice Fangaro, head of content said in an articulation that they needed to adjust everything since they showed their beautiful much-discussed association. His wedding exceptional, Samizi and Mole, the union, was the association of the year and set a then standard for the most first day sees on Showmax at Send Off. Having recounted the tale of the wedding, which appeared to many practically like a fantasy, for balance we needed to investigate all that followed, she said. Quenever examined regarding how he feels about Samizi revealing their exclusive issues, Mohail told City Press. It is his reality, and on the off chance that he feels like it, he can express what he might be thinking. I figure he ought to address what he feels like he needs to. We are separating, so it's now out there. It is his reality and I accept that everyone should be allowed to express whatever they might be thinking. Mohail unexpectedly broadcasted their dreadful split in a recording where he said Samizi compromised him with a kitchen blade. I took my keys and left, he took a blade. I was going to exit, so he shared with me, on the off chance that you leave, I will kill us both. So I took my keys and ran. He snatched the blade and said assuming you leave, I will cut you. Now I see an alternate individual. I was SHT frightened and strolled once more into the house. He said how about we talk. He cried and we continued on, he said. Mohail then made an announcement and said, I did as a matter of fact experience maltreatment on account of my alienated spouse both physical and mental. It isn't my desire to teeter-totter my experience against his as he just has his heart to deal with. Samizi in his adaptation of occasions denied this, never in my most extravagant fantasies did I imagine that one day I would need to safeguard my distinction because of somebody I have adored so profoundly thus really purposely hurting a standing I've endeavored to construct. For the most pieces of my life, I've kept my connections out of the public eye until my solitary marriage which you saw on TV and other web-based entertainment. We positively can hardly hang tight for the unscripted TV drama to start. In the interim, these days, we see a few big names emerging to admit what they used to do before a claim. We presently see them as exceptionally fruitful and notable individuals yet little is, had some significant awareness of their experience. Reality of the situation is that no one chooses to have a terrible past yet troubles in life lead us to accomplish something that we are not pleased with yet to get by, we wind up getting it done despite the fact that we could think twice about it later. Most superstars were not brought into the world with a silver spoon on their mouths. They battled before they rose to acclaim. Presently the veteran entertainer, who is all around regarded one besides, has emerged to admit that she used to be a whore in those days. Lillian Doob uncovered this dim mystery during her appearance as a visitor on Samizzi's television show, Downtime with Samizzi. Doob uncovered that she didn't grow up with a silver platter as she needed to hustle her direction to the top. She let Samizzi know that growing up, she needed to do such countless positions, homegrown specialist, nurture help, tea young lady. She added by expressing that for endurance, there was a point by which she has feast anything for endurance, and when you talk about whores, she has been that thr kids should eat, and she ought to do that sort of work. The clientele out of expressed that she lashes out when individuals criticize whores in light of the fact that nobody wants to be s whore, just conditions lead them there. She likewise shared that sooner or later, she once turned into a casualty of sexual maltreatment. I truly concur with Ma'am Lillian and shares her feelings. We should get to realize first what made an individual to pick prostitution prior to passing judgment on them. 
For more inside news, this year's Good Friday was really a gift to such countless individuals as different exceptional occasions like child showers, weddings and birthday celebrations occurred. The notable Asa Velengkithi who assumed the part of Ntwenlon the Mzansi Magic's Isabaya was one among individuals who got hitched on Good Friday. Labola was completely paid by the Mkakayana family to the Nkithi family. Asavella has recently posted the uplifting news on her Instagram account with a feature of within the occasion with a couple of pictures. She has been posting of how in adoration she is nevertheless she continued to conceal her man's face on pictures and recordings. She has not yet posted her significant other, yet however has quite recently posted pictures of herself and her loved ones. Her new family which is her family in regulation, gave her another name which they will use to call her, and the name is Quand, and that implies development or expansion. They said with this name they request family development, love and life. This is extremely delightful, to see particularly for somebody youthful like her who has generally had confidence and adored, and has generally tried to get hitched one day. This is without a doubt her greatest accomplishment during the current year's Easter weekend. An immense congrats to this awesome entertainer who is great-hearted, and whom Zancy accepts she merits generally beneficial things coming her direction. The delightful thing about this is that her better half acknowledges her girl who isn't his organic youngster yet as he weds her mom she likewise accepts her as her own little girl. Thanks for watching.